Good afternoon all. In the last lecture, we have discussed uh, regarding the second method of artificial selection. And this method was a pure line selection. Up till now, we have discussed uh, regarding the two methods of the artificial selection. The first one, mass selection, which is generally practiced in the cross-pollinated crop. Then we have discussed uh, the second method of pure line selection, which is generally used or practiced for the improvement of the self-pollinated crop. In the last lecture also, we have discussed uh, regarding the differences between the mass selection and the uh, pure line selection. And in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the third method of selection and that is clonal selection. Okay. Today, we are going to discuss clonal selection. Okay. Generally, you know that in the plants, these are propagated either by seeds or by vegetative parts okay the plants these are generally propagated either by using the vegetative parts or the seeds okay the vegetative reproduction the vegetative reproduction in the plant it is mainly resorted to due to the various reasons okay vegetative reproduction means what tumhala maiti ki apan jeva ambyacha jhad lavto tevha shakyato kay karto tacha kalam lavto teche seeds kiwa koi apan use karat nahi kiwa us lavto tevha sudha kay te usacha je kand asto chhota cha tacha varti bud astat te use karto apan vegetative part okay tacha madhe na flower tayar hotat na teche seeds tayar hun apan te seeds propagation sathi use karu shakto jase ki baki cha plants madhe farmers karat astat manje seeds anayche tacha sowing karaycha ani mag tacha ते क्रॉप च कल्टिवेशन करायचं ओके पण काही काही प्लांट मध्ये काय तर सीड्स द्वारे आपण प्रोपोगेशन करत नाही तर कशा प्रोपोगेशन करतोय बाय युझिंग द डिफरंट व्हेजिटेटिव्ह पार्ट्स ओके ऑल यू नो दॅट द प्लांट्स दीज आर प्रोपोगेटेड आयदर बाय व्हेजिटेटिव्ह पार्ट्स ऑर द सीड्स ओके देन व्हॉट इज द रिझन दॅट इज इन सम ऑफ द प्लांट्स वी आर नॉट युझिंग देअर सीड्स अँड वी आर युझिंग देअर सर्टन व्हेजिटेटिव्ह पार्ट फॉर देअर प्रोपोगेशन okay there are various reasons of which there are these are the four most important reasons here we are discussing that is for example in some of the plant there is a lack of seed germination okay or the lack of seed formation okay because the uh, due to the um, for example in the sugar cane banana and potato that is these plants are generally sterile sterile that means these are non flowering habit the flowers are not developed in the plant that is due to the certain meiotic abnormalities or other genetic causes the seeds are not formed in these plants okay the first reason is in some of the plant the seeds are not formed for example sugar cane banana and potato due to the as these plants are sterile and these are having non flowering habitat due to the uh, meiotic abnormalities or the other genetic causes okay kai genetical reasons mul kay hota ki ya plant madhe flowers tayar hu shakat nahi he flowers uh, flowers tayar hu shakat nahi manje he plant sterile asta that's why these plants are generally propagated by the vegetative parts okay the first reason is lack of seed formation for example in sugar cane banana and potato then second reason is that the seeds are formed under certain specialized conditions okay the seed formation it takes place under specialized conditions for example garlic sugar cane potato and also the many other ornamental plant okay for example in garlic the cultural practices due to the cultural practices the seed formation does not takes place in the garlic and that's why it enforces to use the vegetative parts for the propagation okay the seeds these are formed under suitable condition for example in garlic due to the cultural practices the seeds are not formed while in sugarcane and potato the unsuitable climatic conditions due to the unsuitable climatic conditions the seeds are not formed okay that is the second reason the seeds are formed only under the special condition then the third reason short viability of the seeds for example in the sugarcane 
okay just we have discussed the in the sugar cane the these are having the non flowering habit and the seeds are not formed but sometime what happens so sometimes the flowering takes place the seeds are formed but these seeds are viable only for the short period and that's why these cannot be used for the propagation ओके कधी कधी शुगर केन मध्ये फ्लावर्स तयार होतात सीड्स पण तयार होतात पण काय होतं त्यांची व्हायबिलिटी जी आहे त्याच्यातले जे लिव्हिंग टिश्यू आहेत त्याची लवकर डेथ होऊन जाते त्याच्यामुळे अशा प्रकारचे सीड्स हे प्रोपोगेशनसाठी यूज केले जात नाहीत ओके समटाइम्स इन द शुगर केन द सीड्स आर फॉर्म्ड बट ड्यू टू ॲज दीज आर लुझिंग द व्हायबिलिटी विद इन व्हेरी फ्यू वीक्स and that's why the seeds cannot be used to raise the new crop okay that is the third reason short viability of the seeds and the most important reason that is the fourth reason wide heterozygosity in the plants okay here you can see in the mango apple orange and the pears the seeds are formed okay and they can be propagated by using the seeds but we are not using the seeds whenever uh, we are uh, commercially cultivating this crop we are using or the farmers are using generally the vegetative parts of these plants what is the reason behind that is these plants are producing the seeds but the farmers are using the vegetative parts of these plants okay that happen mainly in the um, uh, plants like the mango citrus apple pears and the orange because these plants are highly heterozygous these are having high degree of polyploidy okay these plants are highly heterozygous these are showing high degree of polyploidy okay and that's why if these plants these are propagated by using the seeds then there will be the great variation in the population resulting in the poor production okay if these are propagated by the seeds then there will be the great variation in the population and that will result in the poor production okay that means uh, as these are um, showing the high degree of polyploidy these are highly heterozygous and that's why whenever you are using the seeds of the these plant then each of the generation one what happens that is due to the sexual reproduction due to the meiosis the segregation of characters takes place in each of the population and that's why their original characters get deteriorated in next generation okay lakshat ala manje kaya hota he polyploidy ahe हायली हेट्रोझायगस आहे जर तुम्ही त्याचे सीड्स यूज करून जर ते प्रोपोगेशन करायला बघितलं तर काय होऊन जातं हेट्रोझायगॉसिटी असल्यामुळं आणि प्लस त्याच्यामध्ये सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन होऊन झालेल्यामुळं काय होतं तर पुढच्या जनरेशनमध्ये त्याचे कॅरेक्टर्स जे चांगले आहेत ते सगळे सॅग्रिगेट होऊन जातात आणि ती व्हरायटीचे ओरिजिनल कॅरेक्टर्स हे नेक्स्ट जनरेशनमध्ये मेंटेन राहू शकत नाहीत खूप सारं व्हेरिएशन त्याच्यामध्ये येऊन जातं ओके त्याच्यामुळे त्या प्रॉपर व्हरायटीचे सगळे कॅरेक्टर्स त्या नंतरच्या जनरेशनमध्ये सुद्धा रिटेन करता यावे त्यामुळे हे प्लांट जे आहेत ते व्हेजिटिव्ह पार्ट्सनं प्रोपोगेशन करत असतात ओके द वाईड हेट्रोजेकसिटी इन द प्लांट्स फॉर एक्झाम्पल इन मेनी प्लांट्स लाईक द मँगो सिट्रस ॲपल पिअर्स अँड द ऑरेंज दीज आर हायली हेट्रोजायगस बिकॉज दी दीज प्लांट शो the high degree of polyploidy if these plants are propagated by the seeds then there will be the great variation in the population okay which is resulting in the poor production and therefore these plants are propagated by the vegetative means to avoid the ill effects of segregation and recombination okay to avoid the ill effect of segregation and recombination these plants are propagated by the vegetative parts okay and both segregation and recombination these are the inevitable consequences of the sexual reproduction okay and that's why to maintain the purity of the race these plants are propagated by the vegetative parts okay that is all about why the plants these are propagated by the vegetative parts okay there are four reasons due to which the plants are propagated by the 
vegetative parts the first one lack of seed formation the second one seed formed under the special condition then third one short viability of the seeds and the fourth one is the wide heterozygosity in the plants ओके म्हणजे आता लक्षात आलं मँगो प्लांट असेल तर आपण त्याची कोय लावून शक्यतो फार्मर्स जमा करून लगेच त्याचं पुढची जनरेशन घेत नसतो कारण काय हे हायली हेट्रोझायगस आहेत त्याचे कॅरेक्टर सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनमध्ये रिकॉम्बिनेशन आणि सॅग्रिगेशनमुळं हे डेटेरिओरेट होतात त्याच्यामुळं जी व्हरायटीची आहे ती प्युअर व्हरायटी मेंटेन राहत नाही त्याच्यामुळं जे ह्यांचं प्रोपोगेशन होतं ते कलम लावूनच केलं जातं बाय व्हेजिटेटिव्ह पार्क्स okay these are the reasons in certain plants the vegetative propagation it is resorted okay then the here question arises then what is mean by the clones okay, what is mean by the what is mean by the clones okay here we are discussing the clonal selection and here we are discussing what is mean by the clones clones means these are nothing but the all vegetative progenies of the single plant okay all vegetative progenies of the single plant mhanje apan samjha mango che kalam anle tar te kay tar to clone hai karan to kay vegetative progeny ahe sexual reproduction te hoon tyachyamadhe seeds tayar hoon tyachyapasun tayar zalele tyachi progeny nahi hai that's why all the vegetative progenies of the single plant are referred as the clones or in other words we can say that is these are the progenies which are derived from the vegetative cells of the plant by the mitosis okay generally in the seed formation uh, during the sexual reproduction in the flower the meiosis takes place okay and after which the sexual reproduction takes place and after fertilization process the um, seed formation takes place but here actually the meiosis does not takes place that's why these are nothing but the clones are nothing but the progenies which are derived from the vegetative cells of the plant by mitosis okay that is the important thing progenies derived from the vegetative cells of the plant by mitosis okay then the characters of the clones okay characters of the clones the first one is the identical genotype identical genotypes because the clones that is these are obtained by the vegetative or asexual reproduction okay and as in the vegetative reproduction only mitosis division takes place okay only mitosis division takes place okay generally the variation takes place due to the sexual reproduction that is mainly due to the segregation of characters and the recombination okay but here the progenies these are obtained from the vegetative cells by the mitosis and that's why all the progenies these are having the identical genetic constitution as these are having the identical genetic constitution that means their external morphology or they these are phenotypically uniform okay these are all phenotypically similar except some minor differences which are arised due to the environmental conditions okay more the uniform the uh, environmental conditions the differences will be very little okay and if the environmental conditions are variable these uh, differences in the uh, phenotypic characters are large okay or uh, whatever the differences these are small or large that is these differences are not inherited from one generation to the another generation okay then the variation there may be the variation which may be arised due to the somatic mutations okay but the frequency of the somatic mutations is very less okay and that's why these are not having any importance to the agronomic characters okay that is all about the identical genotype all these are having the identical genotype or genetic constitution okay then second one these uh, clones these are highly heterozygous okay that is though that is these uh, clones or these uh, progenies are all uh, identical in their genetic constitution but these are highly heterozygous 
okay and the vegetative propagated plants these are always heterozygous okay manje ek common gosht ahe ki je kalam karun plant propagate kele jatat he highly heterozygous astat okay a simple rule is there though that is the clones these are identically these are identical in their genetic constitution but these plants are highly heterozygous the plants which are vegetatively propagated these are always heterozygous okay that is uh, the we can say that is the difference between the pure lines and the clones okay pure lines we have discussed in the last lecture okay pure lines that is the pure lines all the pure lines are genetical identical but main difference is that the pure lines are homozygous okay clones are also uh, having the identical genetic constitution identical genotype but clones are highly heterozygous okay that is the main difference between the pure line and the clone okay pure line and clone both are identical in their genetic constitution but pure line these are homozygous and the clones these are highly heterozygous okay then the next one lack of genetic variation just we have discussed uh, that is uh, these are gen genetic uh, these are genetically uniform okay lack of genetic variation then second one severe inbreeding depression okay severe inbreeding depression severe inbreeding depression means whenever that is these clones as these are highly heterozygous they show severe loss in vigor due to inbreeding okay whenever these are crossed with each other whenever the clones these are crossed with each other there will be loss in vigor okay or in their productivity and that's why it will result in poor yield and that is referred as the severe inbreeding depression okay manje samjha don clones cho jar crossing kele tar ji variety tayar hote tyachyamade ekdam poor yield yun jato ani tela apan kay mhanto tar severe inbreeding depression okay then the immortality immortality why the clones are called as the immortality because the why the clones are said to be the immortal okay the clones these are very stable as the pure lines okay as these are propagated by the um, propagated from the vegetative cell by the mitosis that's why there is no segregation of character and no any genetic recombination okay generally the segregation of characters and the recombination occurs during the sexual reproduction but here these are obtained from the vegetative cells by the mitosis okay that's why no segregation of characters no genetic recombination and there will be no any genetic variation okay and that's why if these clones are propagated by the vegetative means for many generations okay the even these are uh, used for many years of cultivation the clones retain their original characters as such okay and that's why we are saying the clones are immortal okay clones are immortal as apan ka mhanto hai karan क्लोनिंग करता क्लोनिंग कस हो वेजिटेटिव सेल्स जे हैं मैटॉसि होन नर प्रोजेनिस्ट तैयार के क्लोन्स मनत ओके हिंदे का सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन होत नहीं ना सैग्रिगेशन हो कैरेक्टर्स ना जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन हो प्रकार जेनेटिक वेरिएशन ये क्रिएट हो क्लोन्स खूब सा जनरेशन पर्यत तुम्ही कल्टिवेट जरी के लिए कैरेक्टर्स लॉस होत नहीं कि चेंज होत नहीं दैट्स वाई वी आर सीइंग द क्लोन्स आर इमोर्टल ओके देन द वाइडर एडाप्टिबिलिटी वाइडर एडाप्टिबिलिटी यस इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट द एडाप्टिबिलिटी ऑफ द प्लांट और द एक्लेमेटाइजेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ द प्लांट इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द जेनेटिक वेरिएशन इन द प्लांट okay more the genetic variation the plant is having the wider adaptability and the less genetic variation it will lead to the it will lead to the poor adaptability but the clones these are highly heterozygous okay the clones these are highly heterozygous and that's why these are 
adaptable to the wider environmental conditions that's why the clones are having the wider adaptability okay these are the characters of the clones okay now the importance of the clones why the clones are very important okay the importance of the clones importance of clones that is owing to the heterozygosity and sterility in the plants clones is the only mean of propagation okay owing to the heterozygosity and sterility in plants the clones are the only means of propagation okay then these are also used to produce the new variety in vegetatively propagated plants by using the clonal selection method okay the clones these are also used to produce the new variety in the vegetatively propagated plants by using the clonal selection then another importance of the clone is that these are the useful tool to preserve one's obtained superiority in the plants ओके समझा एखाद प्लांट मध्य खूब चांगले कैरेक्टर्स तैयार कर वरायटी तैयार के लिए सुपीरियरिटी कि प्लांट के सभी कैरेक्टर्स तुम्हारा खूब सारे जनरेशन पर्यटन कॉन्स्टंटली मेन्टेन कर अशा वेला क्लोनिंग के लिए जो कैरेक्टर्स लॉस हो ओके दीज आर द डिफरंट इम्पॉर्टन्सेस ऑफ द क्लोन्स okay the first one is the i am repeating this one first one is owing to the heterozygosity and sterility in plants clones are the only means of propagation okay the clones these are used to produce new variety in vegetatively propagated plants by using the clonal selection method then these are the useful tool which are used to preserve once obtained superiority in the plants then regarding the clonal selection okay what, what is mean by the clonal selection it is the method of improving the vegetatively propagated crop clonal selection it is the method of improving vegetatively propagated crop okay in this one the it consists of isolating the best clones from the mixed population okay it is the selection of desirable clones okay with the desirable characters the clones are selected from the mixed population okay of vegetatively propagated crops it is the method of selection of desirable clones from mixed population of vegetatively propagated crops then it takes about 7 years to develop a new variety okay it takes about 7 years to develop a new variety in the first year first of all the selection of clones is carried out selection of the clones is carried out uh, that means the clones which uh, which are having the desirable characters these are selected from the um, mixed population of vegetatively propagated crop ठीक है वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेटेड क्रॉप मधुन का चांगले प्लांट आते क्लोन्स आते सगत पैलदा सिल्शन के ओके देन द यूनिट ऑफ सिल्शन इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम क्रॉप टू क्रॉप इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम क्रॉप टू क्रॉप फॉर एक्जाम्पल स्टेम कटिंग्स जनरली द स्टेम कटिंग्स दीज आर टेकन फ्रॉम द और दीज आर यूज फॉर प्रोपोगेशन इन द शुगर केन बिटल वाइन ब्लैक पेपर पॉटर ग्रासेस सम ऑर्नामेंटल एंड द hedge plants okay we are discussing the unit of selections which are differing from plant to plant okay then grafts and the birds generally in mango citrus apple many fruit trees rose and many ornamental plants then tuber in potato okay these are the different vegetatively propagating organs we are discussing suckers that is generally these are used in banana pineapple aloe vera then agave and the chrysanthemum okay mm -hmm. then the another vegetative propagating organ that is bulb which is used for the propagation in the onion garlic tulip and lilies okay then runners these are used in oxalis dub grass okay then stolons these are used for the propagation of mint mentha etc 
okay then rhizomes and the combs these are used for the propagation of the ginger canna turmeric colocasia etc and lastly here you can see the root and the root cuttings these are used for the propagation in sweet potato dahlia asparagus mango ginger etc okay these are the different plant parts which are used for the vegetative propagation in the different crops okay a unit of selection it varies from crop to crop okay generally generally the healthy units from the healthy plants are selected okay generally the healthy units from the healthy plants are selected on the basis of phenotypic characters okay remember that generally the healthy units from the healthy plants are selected and on the basis of the phenotypic or the external character generally the diseased and the poor yielding uh, clones that is these are discarded okay diseased and poor yielding clones are discarded and the selection it is carried out from the local varieties okay these are all the activities which are carried out in the first year okay selection of the desirable clones from the mixed population of vegetative propagated crops that is carried out in the first year ठीक आहे लक्षात आलं पहिल्या इयर ला काय करतात व्हेजिटेटिव्हली प्रोपोगेटेड क्रॉप जे आहेत फील्ड वरती त्याच्यामधून डिझायरेबल कॅरेक्टर्स असणाऱ्या क्लोनचं सिलेक्शन केलं जातं ओके दिस इज द ऍक्टिव्हिटी विच इज कॅरीड आउट इन द फर्स्ट इयर ओके देन सेकंड इयर क्लोन्स फ्रॉम द सिलेक्टेड प्लांट्स दीज आर ग्रोन सेपरेटली ओके दीज आर ग्रोन सेपरेटली ओके अँड द डिझायरेबल क्लोन्स सिलेक्टेड अँड द अदर्स आर discarded okay the clones from the selected plants these are cloned separately then their performance it is compared with the existing superior variety the desirable clones these are selected while the others are discarded okay then in the third year preliminary yield trials preliminary preliminary yield trials are carried out along with the existing superior varieties which are called as the checks okay and here selection for quality and few outstanding clones are selected okay in the third year also the preliminary yield trials are carried out uh, for and their performance it is compared with the existing superior variety called as the check and the superior clones these are selected and the others are discarded okay then fourth to sixth year fourth to sixth year comparative yield trials are carried out at okay at different locations or we can say in different regions is to check their adaptability or their adaptability or acclimatization with the wider environmental conditions that's why the comparative yield trials are carried out for about 3 years at the different locations and then their performance their performance it is evaluated and the best proved clones these are named and the released as the new variety okay manje 3 varsha tyache comparative yield trials veg vega area madhe veg vega region madhe veg vega environmental conditions madhe kele jata tancha performance a plant breeder la kalavla jato plant breeder tancha performance sagla compare karto ani je sagla changle perform kelele ahet ashe ek don clones as navin variety la naav deun ti navin variety release keli jate okay 4 to 6 year comparative yield trials at the different locations are carried out and best proved clones these are named and released as the new variety okay then in the 7th year the multiplication the multiplication seed multiplication here uh, i have do mentioned that is it is a seed multiplication but it is generally the multiplication of the clones and then these clones kiwa te kalam je ahet te kay kele jatat tar farmers la commercial cultivation sathi provide kele jatat okay here the multiplication of the clones and then these are distributed to the farmers for the commercial cultivation in the seventh year okay these are the field techniques which are used to develop the new variety by using the clonal 
selection okay then here this is the photograph here you can see the um, procedure for clonal selection that is it is the mixed population of local variety from which the clones are selected that is it is the mixture of clones okay few to several hundred superior plants are selected then here in the second year clones from the selected plants grow separately these are grown separately and from this one the desirable clones are selected okay in the third year the preliminary yield trials are carried out preliminary yield trials with the standard checks selection for quality disease resistance etc and diseases nurseries may be planted okay and few outstanding clones are selected okay here you can see the four to six year multi location yield trials okay multi location yield trial or here uh, we can say the um, comparative yield trials okay multi location yield trials with the standard checks the best clones these are identified for release as a new variety and in the seventh year seed multiplication here the seed this term it is generally used for the clones here these clones are multiplied the best clones are released as a new variety seed multiplication for the distribution begins in the seventh year okay that is this is the fill technique which is carried out for the release of a new improved variety in the vegetatively propagated crop by the clonal selection method okay then here we are discussing the advantages and the limitations of this method advantages the varieties which are released by the clonal selection method these are highly stable and these are easy to maintain okay why we are seeing that is these variety uh, stable because there is no danger of variation which is arised due to the mendelian segregation and the recombination because we are propagating these plants by the vegetatively propagating organ and not by the seeds that's why the varieties are stable as there is no danger to arise the genetic variation by the mendelian segregation and the recombination okay and here these are easy to maintain and the fear of deterioration or uh, ek minute huh? okay here the fear of deterioration of the variety it is completely reduced okay and the varieties they can maintain their original character even if these varieties are cultivated for many generations okay and that's why here we are saying that the varieties are stable and easy to maintain lakshat ala easy to maintain ani ka hai karan ka hai apan te chala vegetative propagating part vaparto te cha propagation karnyasathi seeds vaparat nahi hai tyachamule tyachamade genetic variation yu shakat nahi ठीक आहे कारण मेंडेलियन सॅग्रिगेशन होत नाही सॅग्रिगेशन ऑफ कॅरेक्टर्स होत नाही किंवा जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन होत नाही ठीक आहे पुन्हा अजून महत्वाचा पार्ट काय ते जे व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेटिंग पार्ट वापरल्यामुळं काय तर त्याचे कॅरेक्टर्स हे तुम्ही किती जरी जनरेशन पर्यंत त्याचं कल्टिवेशन केलं तरी त्याचे कॅरेक्टर्स ओरिजिनल हे मेंटेन राहतात ओके दॅट्स वाय वी आर थिंग द व्हरायटीज आर स्टेबल अँड इझी टू मेंटेन then the another advantage of this method is that once the hybrid vigor once the hybrid vigor is obtained by the hybridization it can be easily preserved by the clonal selection okay lakshat ala manje ekta ka hybrid vigor hybrid vigor manje va kay that is whenever the two plants are crossed and the variety released it is having the uh, superior characters than that of their parent that will be called as the hybrid vigor म्हणजे लक्षात आलं दोन प्लांटचं क्रॉसिंग केल्यानंतर एक नवीन व्हरायटी रिलीज झाली त्यांची जी प्रोजेनी आहे आणि ती प्रोजेनी त्याच्या पॅरेंटपेक्षा जर कॅरेक्टरमध्ये सुपिरियर असेल तर त्याला आपण हायब्रिड व्हिगर म्हणतो ठीक आहे वन्स द हायब्रिड व्हिगर इट इज ऑप्टेंड इन द हायब्रिडायझेशन म्हणजे हायब्रिडायझेशन मेथडमध्ये दोन प्लांटचं क्रॉसिंग करून नवीन व्हरायटी रिलीज केली जाते आणि जर ही व्हरायटी त्या दोन पॅरेंटपेक्षा कॅरेक्टरमध्ये सुपिरियर असेल तर त्या फिनॉमिनॉनला आपण 
हायब्रिड बिहेवियर म्हणत असतो म्हणजे एकदा का तुम्ही हायब्रिडायझेशन मध्ये नवीन सुपिरियर व्हरायटी तयार केली तर ती तुम्हाला क्लोनल सिलेक्शन न इजीली प्रिझर्व करता येऊ शकते ओके वन्स द हायब्रिड विगर इट इज ऑप्टेंड बाय द हायब्रिडायझेशन देन इट कॅन बी इजीली प्रिझर्व फॉर मेनी जनरेशन बाय युजिंग द क्लोनल सिलेक्शन ओके अँड द लास्ट ॲडव्हान्टेज ऑफ दिस मेथड इज दॅट इट इज द ओनली मेथड टू इम्प्रूव्ह द व्हेजिटेटिव्हली प्रोपोगेटेड प्लांट्स ओके इट इज इट इज वन अँड ओनली मेथड to improve vegetatively propagated plants okay then though these uh, there are certain advantages of this method so certain limitations to use this method okay because this method it is only applicable to the vegetatively propagated plants okay you can you cannot apply or practice with this method for the self pollinated or the cross pollinated crop this method is only applicable for the plants which can be propagated by using the vegetative plant parts okay that's why this method it is only applicable to the vegetatively propagated plants okay then another limitation of this method is that it does not create any new variation okay it does not create any new variation and thus there is a very little chance to improve the heredity of the plants okay it does not create any new variation that means the process just we have discussed the, the field technique and the process of clonal selection it is limited only to the isolation of the best genotype which are already present in the population ओके म्हणजे पॉप्युलेशनमध्ये जे फक्त चांगले प्लांट आहेत म्हणजे जे चांगले जिनोटाईप आहेत तेच आपण फक्त सिलेक्ट करून त्याचं सॉर्टिंग करतो या मेथडमुळे त्याच्यामध्ये कुठल्याही नवीन प्रकारचे जीन्स तयार होत नाही आहेत त्यामुळे कुठल्याही प्रकारचे नवीन कॅरेक्टर्स त्याच्यामध्ये इंट्रोड्यूस होत नाही आहे ओके फक्त पॉप्युलेशनमधले जे चांगले कॅरेक्टर्स आहेत त्याचंच फक्त आपण काय तर सॉर्टिंग करत असतो ओके दॅट्स वाय द वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस मेथड इज दॅट इट क्रिएट्स नो न्यू व्हेरिएशन ओके बिकॉज द प्रोसेस इट इज लिमिटेड टू द आयसोल्युशन ऑफ द बेस्ट जिनोटाईप्स फ्रॉम द पॉप्युलेशन और वी कॅन सी द आयसोल्युशन ऑफ बेस्ट जिनोटाईप्स विच आर ऑलरेडी प्रेझेंट इन द पॉप्युलेशन ओके अँड दॅट्स वाय देर आर व्हेरी लिटल चान्सेस टू इम्प्रूव्ह द हेरिडिटी ऑफ द प्लांट okay that is all about the clonal selection okay thus up till now we have uh, studied the three methods of the artificial selection first one mass selection second one clonal selection and third one is the pure line selection okay thus we have discussed the two principal methods of the crop improvement okay the first one was the domestication plant introduction and acclimatization and second method we have discussed the selection okay thus there are only two methods which are remaining for the discussion the first uh, the third one hybridization the another one is the mutation okay we have discussed the two methods of the crop improvement and the remaining two we will discuss in the other lectures okay